respected teacher and my dear friends. I am Sanvika Sahi of class 7th B Aditya Billa Public School and today I am going to tell you all about our heart. We all can feel our heart beating whenever we put our hand on our chest. But do you have any idea what's really going on in there? Every day our heart beats about 100,000 times sending 2,000 gallons of blood to different parts of our body. Food, water and oxygen are essential for human life and blood transport all these things to different body parts through various channels called blood vessels. Blood vessels are mainly composed of arteries, veins and capillaries. I am going to tell you all about the structure of our heart. To keep the blood flowing throughout the body, we have a pumping system and the heart is the pump. Our heart is divided into two sides, the right side and the left side. The right side is filled with deoxygenated blood and the left side is filled with oxygenated blood. There is a dividing wall in between of the right and the left side, known as cardiac septum. The cardiac septum prevents the mixing of deoxygenated blood and the oxygenated blood. There are four chambers in our heart. The right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium and the left ventricle. There are four valves in our heart. Tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve, pulmonary valve, aortic valve. Valves are fibrous flaps that allow the blood to flow in one direction only. The valves prevent the back flow of the blood. Now let's learn how our heart works. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the different parts of the body through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava vein. After that, the deoxygenated blood is transferred to the right ventricle. In order to purify that blood, the right ventricle pumps that blood into the lungs through the pulmonary artery to make it oxygenated. Now, this oxygenated blood needs to be sent to all body parts. So, the blood is pumped back to the heart through the pulmonary vein into the left atrium. And from there, it flows into the left ventricle. And now, finally, the oxygenated blood leaves the heart and is transported to the whole body through iota. And the process continues. Heart is a very important organ of our body. Now let's see how can we keep it healthy. Number 1. Stop smoking and drinking alcohol. Number 2. Control your blood pressure. Number 3. Keep a check on your cholesterol. Number 4. Exercise regularly. Number 5. Eat healthy diet. It is so sweet to have a healthy heartbeat. Healthy heart, healthy you. Thank you. Have a nice and healthy day.